Hey, today we want to make our character to be able to jump like this. Pretty easy. And all of that without writing a single line of code. But time is rare, so let's get started. 1909 games. Let's make games. Make a character jump is pretty important for a lot of games, I would say. So we have a character controller that is able to walk around, look around and shoot. But we are missing the jump mechanic. And if you haven't seen the rest of the series, I have the first two videos right here in the playlist. You can watch them now. Or if you just want to know how to jump, you of course can watch this video. But don't miss the other videos. There you learn how to move and how to shoot. And if you don't want to miss future videos, because the series of this FPS character controller will go on, and I have a devlog where I'm making a horror game. So if you don't want to miss that, then hit subscribe. There are two videos every week, Monday and Thursday. So, so let's get into Unity and just do the character controller. <laughs> let's start where we, you know, stopped the first time. And we want to make a little change. And that is to make the output of the multiply. And we want to multiply it again with time.delta time. I have forgotten it last time and we changed the character controller simple move to a character controller move and connect it. That's just what I did off screen. So yeah, you can change that too, but that's all. And now we begin with a new sequence. So we want to have at first the jump and gravity mechanic and after that the move mechanic. And we need an object variable with the name velocity y for example and it is a float that's important that's a float <laughs> and we drag and drop it into the you know into the y of our vector 3 that is for the movie and after that we want to get a button down and that button that we want to get down is jump jump is space you know you can press space and you get the button down that's defined for jump. And next we want to make uh, is grounded. So is the character controller grounded? That's pretty important because if we are not knowing if it is grounded, then we could, you know, jump infinite. We could fly basically, you know? <laughs> so that's pretty important. And we do an AND unit so that we have press a button down and be grounded. What will happen then? Then we want to jump. So let's connect it to a branch and if both is true, then we want to set the velocity that we have a variable for and that's a velocity y and set it to, you know, I set it to five or seven. Let, let's, you know, it, it depends on how high you want to jump. So that's the force that will put you in the air, you know, <laughs> I do five and we will see if this is enough or if we want to increase it or decrease it, we will see. And if we are not pressing space or if we are not grounded, then we want to fall. You know, basically we want to fall and for that we need gravity. So let's make a branch. So if we are not grounded, what will happen then? Then we want to have a velocity dot y that is negative. So we want to set our velocity and that we connect to the branch, but before just drag and drop again one of the velocity y variables and so we get the velocity y and we want to multiply it with an float and I take a float by minus 10 so that is this you know you can think you could think of that is the speed that press you down again and we want to uh, multiply it with time dot delta time again and when we have multiplied it, we want to have the outcome we want to add with the set variable of our velocity y. And we want to connect it with our set variable. So, and that's all. That's all we need to do. We could now, you know, group these things, you know, to make it, you know, that, that you could see better what is going on. So at first we want to press a button, so let's call it button. Then we want to check if the ground, if you, if you are grounded, so grounded. What we now do is the jump mechanic. So just put, it, put us up in the air <laughs> and here we want to fall, you know, so like the gravity and that's all. And since we have at the beginning put the velocity y on the y of our outcome, 
you know, we don't need to do anything else. And if we press space, <laughs> we jump. That's all. That's pretty simple, right? And we can do what we have done before. We can shoot and everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. And if you don't want to miss future videos, then hit subscribe. It's not hurting. It's not cost anything, you know. It's just good for you, you know. And if you have, like, suggestions, what do you want to know? What do you want to know how to make with Vault? What do you, you know? Just write me in the comments what I should do next because I want to make good content for you. See you next time. Bye.